Hello friends, let me show you something not very usual. This is how the typical adenium seed parts look when they crack. But recently one of my Thai Soko Chada Patch plants had seed part like this and usually small. Thai socos are a selection of Arabicum. Arabicum adeniums have bigger seeds than the other species. A little bigger. So I expected that this one, open pollinated Thai soko would have very few seeds because there isn't much space there. Instead, it has plenty, plenty seeds. I was just cleaning them up. Here I have 93. Here I have some that are not cleaned up yet. And uh, none of them, when I touch to get the fluffy stuff off, feels flat, feels empty. They all feel like our real seeds. So I stopped in middle of cleaning and made this little video to show you something unusual. Such a little seed pot and it's gonna have, I don't know, 150 or something. I mean 93 are here already. That's all. Wanna see how Thai Sokochada Pech look like? The mother plants? One moment. Here is one of my Thai Soko plants. And here is another. And here is another still. You see they're smaller than uh, usual. Arabicum, but their seeds normally are same size like any other Arabicum, a little bit bigger than Obesum. Sometimes I get one or two seeds in a pot, unusually small. Often they don't sprout. If they sprout, they grow slowly because they don't have enough nutrients in them. And some, very few, are super dwarf. Let me show you. And here is another still. You see they're smaller than uh, usual Arabicum. But their seeds normally are same size like any other Arabicum, a little bit bigger than Obesum. Sometimes I get one or two seeds in a pot, unusually small. Often they don't sprout. If they sprout, they grow slowly because they don't have enough nutrients in them. And some, very few, are super dwarf. Let me show you. You see, here is one Thai Sokochada page planted from seed at the same time like I show you the previous ones, yet it's growing much smaller. And here is another, even smaller. But they are rare exceptions. I actually have only three of them. One, two, three. So I don't know. Am I gonna get many such a extremely dwarfish from this batch? Or these simply won't sprout? Or am I gonna get regular just 
having very slow start in life because of not enough starch in the seed. Well, the time will tell, and when the time tells me, I'll tell you. But for now, let me keep on cleaning. Here I have 93. Let's see how many I have all together. Okay, all done. 146 seeds. Fluffy stuff here. Seeds here. Let me pour it on something darker so you might see it better. 140 seeds. Way more than in a pair of seed pots of adenium is usual. Way smaller than usual. Here I can put it next to millimeters for you to see the size. Or next to the sixteenth of an inch so you can see the size. Way smaller than usual, way more of them out of way smaller pot than usual. And very few as I touched them as I was pulling that fluffy stuff, very few felt empty. So there might some sprout, some of these might sprout, and from those that will, where there is there gonna be some super duper dwarfs? I have no idea. It's gonna be interesting to see. Usually open pollinated seed pots would have a less seeds than hand pollinated, hand cross pollinated, uh, probably because open pollinated here, not having good pollinators living, flying around, um, are self pollinated. And there is some self incompatibility. And that's why usually I get in open pollinated, less seeds and bigger percentage of empty ones. But never so far would happen that they would be all super duper small, yet not yet full, not flat. Hmm.